All righty, I wanted to stop the music and just come on here real fast. Uh, I'm in the part of Kentucky. We're having the thunderstorms. It's been on national TV, so I will not be on 60 frames, no lag. Very good chance I'm not going to have power later today, later tonight, So because it's a nasty, nasty storm moving through. They said it'd be here around 5 p.m. Eastern. That's roughly what's happening right now. Hasn't even been able to go out to my mailbox because of the rain. And it just started about 10 minutes ago. But uh, I wanted to cover just three quick things here. And uh, first things first, we just hit 2,100 subs here. And I can't be more thankful that to you guys. And another announcement, I have signed an endorsement contract, something to that effect. So you will see me on Saturday morning doing a uh, product review of a towel a towel like a dish towel so that's my first thing i signed on because they're paying me they're actually giving paying me some cash so yes i have sold out to the man <laughs> but i signed today and um and so i just want to let you all know that so when you see my commercial on saturday Give me a thumbs up and we'll all just have a have a laugh on it. Because it ought to be fun. And, and I'm a, I have to let them know. I let them know Saturday morning I'm going to be doing the dish dish towel commercial. So we'll have dish pan hands on Saturday. Um, what else do we have here? Okay. Uh, my Stella Blade demo. Well, first of all, the 2100 subs. Never thought I'd see that. I still remember getting my 50th sub. <laughs> and there's been people been here a long time. Uh, there's not you know, there's memberships available if you all want to check that out. There's also going to be a giveaway. I'm going to give um, on the 12th of April. Yeah, next Friday, we're going to give away two codes. One will be a movie code and one will be a probably a gift card for like 20 bucks. Uh, you can use it on PlayStation. That will probably be what I do. Or maybe give away a Steam code. I haven't never done that before. So may may do something like that. But it's going to be a two-prong giveaway, one movie, one game, and uh, you all do with it what you want. So I wanted to announce that. All right, so my Stella Blade review, uh, I played the demo, and I played the demo twice. Uh, one time I played it, finished it, beat the boss. Second time I played it, I streamed it uh, just, just enough. Um, I, I enjoyed the demo. I normally don't play games like that where you just walk around with a sword and you know, you're hitting the square button and stuff like that. I normally don't play games like that, but that game uh, is arguably, that's one of the best looking games I've ever seen that's coming from a second or third party that Sony has dealt with. Again, that's I'll, I'll go on a limb and say that's the best looking second party game I've ever seen. So um, this has been on PlayStation. I mean, I'm, somebody wants to comment and say, well, what about this one? That's fine. That's just my opinion. Um, I gave it an eight and a half, eight point, or an eight out of, 10 because again i normally don't play those type of games i wanted to show you guys the combat system and how there's really nothing on there that you've never done before and that just simply tells me that they got the other one correct you know that, that all these people the assassin's creeds the the uh all those games where you're killing you know dropping in stealthy i mean i think you can stealth uh go after people um but again there's a whole lot there, the the uh, skill tree. There's just a whole bunch of different ways to play that game. That's the cool thing with an RPG, this Western Eyes, is that I I may play Stella Blade differently than 50,000 50, other people. Um, as far as the, quote, controversy, you need to understand feminism. Basically, feminist women, they don't believe. They, they believe, okay, feminist women are okay with OnlyFans because women benefit. They're okay with OnlyFans. They're okay with adult films because women benefit. But in this case, only one woman benefited. Then the, the, the women that did the voiceover acting, because you got to remember, Stella Blade's in like, what? It's in a bunch of languages, and they have to hire voice actresses to do, the, to do that. I don't know if it's an AI. Maybe it's an AI. But... That's the way feminism is working. So you have a group of feminists trying to stop this game because they literally are saying women don't look like that when women clearly do because they did a full body scan. They did, they, the developers, did take some liberty with her derriere. They have said that. Number two, a, a man and a woman, a married couple, 
invented the character Eve. I don't know if you all know that or not. It, there was a man and a woman that invented that character. It was the woman's, it was his wife's idea. It was, they're married. His wife's idea to hire that model. And she's like a big time supermodel in her, in her country. So uh, congratulations to her. I'm buying the game. I'm not, I canceled the standard version. I, you know, I called GameStop and said, look, I need to move this to the $99 version. That's the one I'm going to get. I'm happy with that. For, and again, I got to get used to paying a hundred bucks for games. So, uh, because I think the games are going to go up to eight, between 89 and $99 going forward because it's just way too much. So, um, so, but that's what the quote controversy, and it's just one, and there's an opinion from France. And it, first thing, don't pay any no attention to it. It's from the French, for Christ's sakes. But the 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 guy doing the review was like, the the character is shallow, blah, 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 blah. And I, again, I disagree with that. That Everybody can have their opinion on the game. I want to make that clear. Everybody gets to have an opinion. There are going to be some people who don't. There are things about the game I didn't like. Um, but I understand that type of game when you lock on to something, it only allows you a certain freedom of movement and it's not like that all the time. But if you lock onto a target, when you engage the target, at least in the demo, when you lock on, you get, you get better odds of surviving your encounter. You don't get hit as much. Okay. So, um, you know, so you have this entire group. Of, of women and understand the way feminism works. As long as they can, all, as long as women all benefit, they don't care because they look at it like it's us against the world, even though women have never built anything, they've never defended anything, and they don't build anything. So, for a group of people who've never built, never maintained, never defended anything, to think they can dictate something to me is straight up funny to me. We saw what happened, unfortunately, when. And on October 7th in Israel, when women were systematically violated, kidnapped, killed, you know, unalive. Let me make that clear. Unalive. Where was feminism on that day? So you see what I'm saying? But so just understand that about feminists and you'll be OK. They 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 want the power that we men have, but they don't want the accountability that comes with it. They just want to be able to go out all willy nilly. And that's feminism 101 right there. So. Do I like the character in Stella Blade? They said she was shallow. Well, it was just a demonstration. It, and it does say some things in the codex about that team, about, um, you know, about what they're on Earth to do, about some of the aliens that are on Earth. But that's all that was there. That's all that was there. It, and it's only a demonstration of the combat. And so, um, and so you would go ahead and... And again, I, I, the locking, I totally understand, but I just don't, I don't like that aspect, but that type of game, that's what you do. That's what you like. When I play XCOM, there's a certain way I got to play XCOM it, to be successful in those missions and stuff like that. When I play Mass Effect, there's a certain way you have to fight because you're the, the enemy has overwhelming odds. I mean, they're trying to overwhelm the battlefield. There's a certain way you got to fight, right? So, and once you figure, and once I figured out, you can lock, unlock, lock, unlock, or engage, disengage, engage, disengage. Once I figured that out with Stella Blade, I'm like, okay, this is a lot more enjoyable because I, I couldn't get away from the enemies. So, uh, but again, I enjoyed the demo eight, eight and a half. I'm buying the the one hundred dollar version to make sure I support the devs. Um, let me see. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a reprieve with the rain. Um, Let's move on to the Pro PS5 Pro enhancements. And again, uh, I'm going off of the whole thing being for real, for real. Sony has not come out and denied anything. And they've, they're they investigating the leak on how this all leaked out. I personally believe Sony leaked it. That's just my opinion. Um, the enhancements are going to be exactly what we told you they were going to be, which is if there's a game, this Imagine game is 1080p, 1440p, dynamic resolution, meaning that the resolution toggles between 1440 and 1080p, in pro enhancement will just simply take the game to 1440p 60. It's in mo and you need to understand most of the PlayStation games, I think all the first party games have a 60 FPS mode. What's 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 new that has kind of come out is that 
they will be able to jailbreak some of these 30 FPS games. Now, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. I will literally believe it when I see it. So, uh, but that's kind of the newest thing with that. So, understand, a game that's struggling, 54, 56 frames per second, that game will now be 60 frames per second. Instead of, and it, it will enhance up to 4K. That's it. It will it will enhance up to 4K. Also, it will it's it's able to take 8K and 6K assets. The PS5 can take 6K assets, right, and bring them. And I don't know if it's down sampling. I think the Pro will be able to do that. Now, is it worth it? That's that's totally up to the to the the beauties in the eye of the beholder. It's your money. You don't think it's worth it? Don't buy it. All right. You don't think it's worth, it's not worth, and that's anything. And I don't, again, guys, you know, do what you want with your money, right? But, um, you know, um, oh, I bought a new computer case as well. This is you all uh, know. I'm still putting together my 3060 with deep learning super sampling and a brand new CPU. Although, if you all think the 55, I've got a 5500 CPU. If you all think I can do a little bit better than that, this Leave a message, not leave a message, but, you know, leave a comment. Hey, try this CPU. I have an AMD motherboard, so I have to stay with AMD, right? Because I'm not going to go out and get a new motherboard for you clowns that say, oh, well, you need to get an Intel. No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good with AMD. I have stock in AMD. None in Intel. Well, I am going to buy some Intel stock. But, um, you know, uh, you know, just kind of kind of land in the plane here. Um, as far as... Um, what was I? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I was talking about Stella Blade and um, just, you know, I'm buying the $100 version. Make sure I support the devs. I'm um, trying to think what else we have here because I was on a rant there. Oh, okay. How you spend your money. Yeah. Um, beauty is an eye to beholder. The PS5 Pro enhancements that have been reported, if they're true. So, Alfonso, they... Those are, that's enough for me, okay? So instead of me playing Cyberpunk at 4K 30 with ray tracing on, I will be able to, if, let me make this clear, if CD Projekt Red uses the enhancements, and again, they don't have to do 60 with ray tracing. They can just say, well, instead of using the base ray tracing we have, we're going to use a higher version of ray tracing. That will enable the companies to say, PS5 enhancements, you know, what are Trinity enhancements? I think that's what they're going under right now. Uh, Trinity enhancements enabled. Now, this doesn't mean, I want to make this clear to you hobosexuals, this doesn't mean that every game is going to be 60 frames per second. I heard uh, that corny mf -er talking about this this morning, or somebody sent me the video this morning, and um, maybe not this morning, but yesterday. And again, it's simply... What we told you was going to happen. Again, stuff that's 1440p may be able to be enhanced to 1800p, 60 frames per second with ray tracing. It's, it is what it is, okay? And we told you that here first, and that's exactly what it seems like we're going to be getting. So, and I stress, seems like we're going to be getting. And uh, so we have to wait for official confirmation from Sony also saw the rumor of a state of play next month from Grub Snacks. I don't believe that because Jeff Grubb's been wrong, in my opinion, way more than he's been right. But it's, it's a rumor. And I think when he kind of screwed up with the whole Sony buying uh, Square Enix, which is what was the big company Sony was looking to buy, and he, he literally had to come out and say, well, we don't know for sure what they're doing. And it's kind of like, well, then why did you report they were buying something? You know what I'm saying? So... Lino was misrepresenting the truth. You logged out after you heard his overreaction. I don't know who that is. So, overreaction on what? But um, I've said this multiple times that um, be careful who you listen to. Okay, be careful who you guys listen to. I that I don't listen to a whole lot of people in the gaming space. I don't trust me. I, I don't. I could give you a list on my. On one hand, I listen to the 60 Frames of Lab podcast. So I listen to, you know, Porter Rock of J-Dub upload some M uh, Extreme. If he, up, if he uploads something, I'll, I'll watch it. And I watch uh, Crossfire with the Mooch. That is, 
pretty much it. All the other stuff is stuff people send to me because they want me to say something about it, which, okay, when a member sends something to me, I will talk about it. That's where membership comes in. But uh, people send me stuff all to talk about different stuff all the time, and I just don't do it because, one, it's a hobby. I want to have fun at it. Yes, it is turning more into a business. Once I start this product uh, talking, I will LLC my biz- my podcast. I have I'm going to register it, get get those benefits. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, well, I listen. Well, I do listen to Refors. I need to add him. What's I don't think I listened to it a little bit today. I didn't hear anything that was misinformation. You see, don't don't get opinion mixed up with mis- misinformation. The devs take advantage of the hardware. Again, the devs aren't going to have a gun to their head, you know, or say you're going to be put in a guillotine if you don't do this. They don't, there's nothing, Sony can't force them to do anything. However, I'm looking at their first party studios and a game like Forbidden West, they can jailbreak the CPU. Now, all of a sudden, Forbidden West becomes 4K native 60 frames per second with ultra graphics, which puts it on the same level. It's like a 4080 or 4090. So also TLS, TCL, the TV company, I don't know if you remember over a year ago, they said that the new PlayStation five would be close to a 77 or 7,800. That's exactly what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. So again, we'll have to wait and see because Sony has not come out and said anything, but it is. 30 FPS is dead, not true. It is in a way. It, okay, that's just his opinion, guys. Yeah, do y'all not understand that an opinion is not misinformation? It is an opinion. Like, if I write an opinion about that new Godzilla and Kong movie, which I thought was straight up garbage, that's my opinion. I'm not misinforming people. And if Lono thinks 30 FPS is, is gone... If one of the things to get the PS5 enhancement is to is to have it be 60, that he's not, that's okay. But you don't have to, allegedly, you do not have to put 60 FPS on it. You can just do better ray tracing and you'll get the pat, you'll get that patch on there, you know, on the box, whatever you want to call it. You know, PS5 Pro Enhance or whatever. That way, and, and Sony doing that, it makes some sense because they want to make sure. They want to make sure that people who are buying it don't just expect every game to be that way because you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Well, you should not. You all should be able to know what an opinion is. It shouldn't have to be stated. You know, you all should have learned that in freaking fifth grade. I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know what they're teaching you all in schools at this point. Like, I don't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, Lono can have his opinion. Next Gen 720 has his opinion. People are saying, you know, Phil Spencer killed the brand of Xbox. I'm like, no, he didn't do that. But that's their opinion, and it's okay. So, somebody got blocked because games are going to be running at 60 and 30 will be considered garbage. Well, again, I don't consider games at 30 garbage. Like, I'm a, I'm a buy Dragon's Dogma. I don't, I don't like the fact that it's 30 frames per second, but... For what everybody's told me, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't even understand, like, the combat mode. It's like Final Fantasy VII. It's like, why does that game need to be 60 frames per second when you sit there and you 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 tell other people to attack? You That's, you know, it's like, it's almost turn-based, except for using Cloud. But the other, you have to tell, what's her name, Arith or whatever her name is, use this. What difference does it make if she does that at 60 frames per second? It doesn't. You're not. You're just looking at the action. So uh, that's just my opinion. So that's why I'm kind of like, yeah, 30 FPS isn't going anywhere. I do think that uh, the fact that you will, if people are going to go around and say everything needs to be 60 frames per second, don't listen to those people. I'm saying that if they put the enhancement on there, you're better rate tracing, better frame rates, you know, Maybe better sound. I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, Sony will change some of the sound equipment that's in there. People keep forgetting about that, right? So it could be something that simple. Okay, I'm, I just use Cyberpunk as an example. Um, so it just it is what it is. And uh, I think people did take what Digital Foundry said, and I thought they were they took it to heart. It's kind of like, well, 
we don't know what they're going to. I mean, if Mark Cerny or whoever walks out on that stage and says, here's Spider-Man at four at 4K30 with Ray Tracy. With the PS5 Pro Enhancer on, we can now get 4K, you know, 45 frames or 4K 50 FPS or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So I expect Sony's first party to take advantage of it. Again, first party. The third party, I'll be happy um, if they take advantage of it, but I'm not going to, ah, you know, so I'm not going to be doing that. So any, any questions, any questions? So real fast, while there's a break in the weather, I'm serious. I mean, you could turn on the news. You could matter of fact, you could turn on news. You could turn on Kentucky weather and just look at what the hell is going. Did you all see that girl getting blown across campus? If you look on Twitter and you see somebody getting blown across on, on the, in the field, that was some girl trying to go to class this morning. That's how bad that down that downwind was this morning. They closed our clinic early. I left at two thirty. I, I did a. I pulled a. Uh, I pulled a Christina and left early. So Samsung just had a commercial on advertising there. Yeah, eight K TV. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, we've talked about that here before. If you can't afford a four K TV, and some of us cannot, I have said what? Get you a monitor. I, I, I've, I've said what 1440 P I'm also sick and tired of people thinking that these consoles, the PlayStation five and the Xbox targeted 4k. That is not true. They targeted 1440 P you can tell that. Okay. You should be able to tell that by now. Now this doesn't mean they can't do 4k like my card. I can do 4k in some games, mass effect. You're looking at it. That's in 4k, but I'm down sampling it to 1440p, but I could play that at 4K if I wanted to. How do I know? Because I hooked my computer up to my TV just to see what the big deal was. Okay, like, okay. Digital Foundry Mad PS5 runs better. Oh, okay, well, like I said, I'd, I'm, I'm all for this, and I've been consistent with this since I've been on the air. Nothing is official until the company comes out. And if you're if you need a demonstration, which I highly recommend. I'm waiting on a demonstration. So, and uh, you know, so it wouldn't shock me if Cerny came out and said something like that, but, or whoever's doing the console reveal, but I need to see that happening. Now that's just my opinion. So, uh, you block, you've been blocked off Lono's channel. All right. Well, I mean, this, it's okay for people to have opinions. My friend It is. It's okay. Uh, going forward, you're playing less Western games and more Asian games. Okay. Monty White says that myself, King Thrash, J Tech, J Dub, P Rock, Moot, Sick Humor, y'all. My yeah, and I listen to all all of them. I listen to all those all those guys. Roundtable, Sick Humor. I listen to all those guys. So, uh, let's see here. You don't recall guys complaining all those years when we play over the top rip dudes. Again, you need to understand the way feminism works. You take, if there's 10,000 women, they want all 10,000 to benefit. If only 10 of them benefit, they're not, they're going to be upset. That's why feminism is nothing but hypocrisy. And that's why I just said, when these, when these fem, these female feminists need to just go, go establish their own island, their own country, go ahead and defend it, go ahead and maintain it. Go ahead and build stuff there. And then when men come in there to invade, they got to they gotta get rid of the men, right? They have to defend themselves against the men and let them do it. I'm all for it. But what they want to do is take what's already been established and turn it into something different. And that shit ain't going to work. That is not going to work. You already have women. I'm sure you've seen the reports, right? New York City. Over 50 women had this guys are just going up and hitting them in their mouths. I mean, maybe you should look that up. And again, what are the women doing? They're not fighting. They're like, oh, God, uh, because again, they can't enforce what they want. They have to use law to try to enforce it. So it is what it is, right? So that's why when, uh, when the French who are, I mean, they're French, right? Who, who the hell cares, right? They eat bun buns and go out at night to watch the lights in Paris. They also, when the Nazis were rolling through Europe, they let them come into France. Oh, yes, come on in here. You know, this they're French. So when some guy said he thinks Eve is this, this, and this, 
when the demo clearly was about the combat and nothing more, the demonstration was about the combat and, yes, the graphics and the play, you know, all that kind of stuff. It had nothing to do with Eve's backstory, the backstory of what they're doing, what happened on Earth, where these aliens come from. None of that is part of the demonstration. That's why when I was demoing it, when I was playing it online, and I was, you know, streaming it. That's why I was talking through it like, oh, yeah, you can do this. Oh, yeah, let you do that. And I kept saying there's nothing here in this game that you've not seen before, at, at least in the demo. Now, we've seen the sizzle reel where it shows her dropping her sword and pulling out a gun. So all it's going to have range play. That's good. I like that, right? When I that cuz I just get I get bored on this having a sword and going around hitting the square button. I I didn't like that with Bloodborne and I didn't I didn't like that then, but now that I see I'll be able to do a bunch of different stuff, I'm like, "All right, well, I'll I'll I'm buying this cuz I like the fact that Sony had the balls to make this game. They didn't tell these people, they didn't tell that developer not to do what they did. They didn't. So shout out to Sony, you know, for doing that. You were listening to Marlon. Well, there's your first problem right there, Alfonso. <laughs> he was literally telling his chat to not buy it game until he reviews it. Okay, okay. So why do you think that is? Remember, it doesn't matter what someone says. It's why they're saying it. So why would anybody say don't buy something until he reviews the game? Why? See what I'm saying? You got to ask yourself that question, okay? <laughs> Don't buy it until I review it. Yeah, Negro, like, I actually listen to what you say. You know, that what Marlon thinks is what everybody else thinks. Again, remember when I told you guys what? He constantly says the word we, 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 and like, like a pig, we, we, we. He really means me, me, me. He, that's what he means. He means himself, and I... Say a hundred times, speak for yourself. You do not speak for nobody else. No man can put words in another man's mouth. Okay? So speak for yourself. Speak with your wallets. If you think Stella Blade is going to be a fun game, buy it, play it, enjoy it. And I say that about all games. Ben West on 40 FPS, but yes, you can play it on 32. Yeah, yeah, and I'll, that's why I, I simply said that they, according to some reports now, they're going to be able to take 30 FPS games and, and maybe get them to 40 to 45 frames per second. Again, you just have to wait and see. 30 FPS, if you're sitting right up on the TV or, or the monitor, they're, you know, they're, you know two, like, like a foot away, like I am right now. Let's see here. I'm about a foot and a half away from my monitor. That... That will affect you. That can affect you. But if, if if I'm back from my TV and you're supposed to be what nine to twelve feet back from your television set, it it is a little bit easier. You can still feel it. It feels sluggish, but um, you can um, I, like I said, I'm buying Dragon's Dogma. I don't care that it's thirty frames per second. I don't like that. But I like I like the world that they've created more than anything else. That's just me though. That is just me. So, <laughs> well, I like Diddy. He allegedly, allegedly was is taking people's butts like chocolate thunder. <laughs> and you sure are a pretty, you sure got a nice voice. <laughs> and like, what the dude was probably like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Oh my God. Anyway, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. What up ice queen, the queen of ice. So, um, opinion. Should, yeah. I read that one. Like if you all can't tell the difference between an opinion and a statement of fact that you all got bigger problems <laughs> than anything else. So, uh, read that one. Your eyes are getting wet and tired of 30 FPS games and game on PC game on PC. Okay. Well, I mean, again, because PlayStation at least has all their first party games are all 60, have 60 FPS modes. All of them. I can't think of one first party game that doesn't have a 60 FPS mode. Now it's 1440p. So, <laughs> oh, you turned you all's clocks back. That's right. So, 
thanks, Lincoln. Shout out to Lincoln Clay. Been there from the jump. Um, yeah, we hit 2,100 and uh, just can't. <laughs> it's really hard to put into words, especially when my goal was to get 50 people. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate everybody subbing and uh, the donations, even though, you know, you all don't have to give any donations. Donate a like. All we ask here. So anything else is really cool. Like I'm getting the um the donations I got last month paid for 50% of the case that I'm getting. And that my case will be here, I believe, I think it says seven days. So so when I get that, I'll show it to you guys, okay? I'll get it to you. So so man overboard says he's been here since 250. There you go. Yeah, I'm shocked. You know, I just remember coming home from work and checking the sub count. And I still remember when I got 52. I'm like, oh my God, I've reached my goal. And then next thing I know it was at 57. Then it was at 60, then it was at 68. And then it was at, then it was at 78. Then it was at 89. Then next thing I know, I'm at work one day and it goes up to 110. And I'm like, oh, I got 110. Am I building a new PC? Yeah, yeah, Lincoln, I've got a uh, AMD motherboard here. It's the uh, 550B Plus. It's Asus Prime. I've got a 3060 MSI G DDR6 12 gigabyte uh, 3060. And I've got a Ryzen CPU 5500. And I've got 3000 something memory. So I'm, it's going to be, and I got my cases coming in. Hey, let me show you the case that I got here. It may still be in my. My little hub here show it to you guys uh let me go here and boom and right Let's see here it's an m a t x so i think that's a pretty good size um let me go ahead and put this here screen capture Ah, there it is, right there in the top. So that's been two days. So I oh Thursday. So um, and it's a MATX. So I I don't know if that's tiny or good size. I wanted a I my tower right now is a mid size. So I think M means mid size. But uh, it, everything should fit in there. You know, you know, you probably think it's too big to fit. It will. <laughs> if not, I'll, I'm effed. You know, I'll be like oh. So, but yeah, um, let's see here. I'm just seeing if there's any more questions. So we talked about Stella Blade. Uh, we talked about, um, make sure you vote. Um, talk about Stella Blade, uh, the 2100 subs. Wow. That's, that's, uh, and it deserves a little more pomp and circumstance and what I'm able to do, but we're in the middle of very bad weather. Like we had a, torrential downpour 20 minutes ago and um now it's it's clear so maybe it will miss us i hope it does but uh man oh man it's some nasty stuff headed our way so um i'm just happy i have power so because of that i probably will not be on 60 frames no lag because of the weather because of the weather so but uh yeah i have no issue with what xbox is doing xbox is doing what's best for themselves it's it's no different than people saying that um well, Xbox is doing this because of this, this, and this. Xbox is doing what they're doing because they didn't sell enough consoles. They don't have a big enough install base. Uh, Lincoln Clay said, at least you should be able to... Yeah, a lot of games at 4... That's my target, 1440p60. Remember the first thing I told you all, if you game on PC, the first thing you have to... Before you build it, make sure you understand what resolution you're going to be playing at. That's That's it. And then you can decide at that point, where do you want to get a, what kind of monitor you get? Uh, everything stems off where you want to play at. So I'm a 1440p60 man. That's, that's just me. Somebody got a 4070 I just saw. Congrats. Yeah. So um, you're going to light a candle on the Aces. Oh, yeah. Definitely Ice Queen. Definitely you'll be in my prayers. Um, that's that's got to be tough. That's Monday. So, um yeah, that's that's tough. Definitely will be in my in, in my prayers and all, everybody's prayers here. That's uh, let's keep Don in our prayers uh, coming up. It's gonna be tough, and um, we'll 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 be here for you, Don. Okay, I'll stop in and say hi. <laughs>
So, um, but uh, I'm trying to see what else is here. Um, so, uh, heel down under likes the 40 FPS. Yeah, that's fine. But now they will be they'll be able to take 40 FPS and get it to 60, and they'll be able to drop the resolution but upscale it to 2160p. I really it's not going to be native. Don't get get that out of your damn head right now. It will be upscaled to 4K. Again, upscaled to 4K. But they may be able to get it at a higher base, meaning that it's something that was 1292p at 60. Now it's going to be upscaled to 2160p. Something that's 1440p may be able to be upscaled to 1800p. That's what they're working on with this. That's it. Now, the PS6, I think it, it should be able to do more. I've heard people screaming, it better have backwards compatibility or what? Like, what are you going to do if it doesn't have full backwards compatibility? You see what I'm saying? That's why I always just say, look, this this getting people's faces to say, what are you going to do about it? Like, what are you going to do? It's like I told people in the black manosphere, instead of you all complaining about Star Wars, why don't you go ahead and write your own Star Wars story? Because you bitch about everything they're doing, you know you can. they have an open uh, address where you can mail your stories to. That's how they get ideas for the stories they got. That uh, Acolyte, the Acolyte series, somebody said, literally some grown man said, I like Star Wars, but I'm tired of seeing everything from the Jedi's point of view. I want to see what's from the point of view of the Sith. And so he started writing his own stories about what it's like from the advantage of the Sith. That's what the Acolyte's about. How the Sith see the galaxy, not the Jedi. We know what the Jedi have been examined up, down, sideways, inside out. Now we're going to see it from the dark side of, of, of things. That's what I'm talking about. That guy didn't complain. That guy didn't bitch and moan. He says, you know what? There's an opportunity here, and I'm going to take it. And now what he's written it's been spun into its own show. I think that's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. You play some games and keep your mind off of it. Yeah, I, I understand. I can appreciate that. Yeah, cry about how it doesn't have backwards compatibility, but still buy it. That's, that's my point. You see, that's my point, downward incline. That's why it's all a bunch of chuck jiving and fake-ass blue pill talk. All right, because the people that are saying this stuff to you are not going to back it up with any kind of action. They're not. You're just going to bitch and moan, take your money, and then laugh all the way to the bank. I mean, you. I mean, if you're giving somebody your money, at least make them follow up what they're doing. That's it. That is it. <laughs> so, well, no, I, now I don't feel that old. So, if somebody here is 56, so... <laughs> so but yeah i saw my demographics and everybody for the most part is is gen is gen x for the most part everybody is gen x there are some millennial there are some millennials here but that's fine so there's don't 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 crap your role you know the m millennials are so dumb rockstar games made a game called grand theft auto 5 it's all about the millennials and how stupid they are i mean go back and play that game and look and look at it from from like just look at it from the point of view that they're making fun of millennials and millennials are so dumb they kept funding that game and now they have grand theft auto 6 which is going to be about gen z grand theft auto 6 is about gen z and all the internet stuff okay so <laughs> so that's why when you saw the preview for grand theft auto 6 when you saw that preview um it was so and all that internet stuff and all that. And that's why they're doing that. So <laughs> I'll get over it, man. Overboard. Don't be hurt. The truth does hurt though. Truth hurts. So still got to tell the truth though. But again, when somebody says they better do this, they better do that or what? Or what? I, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to make a prediction. <laughs> I predict that with these new monitors that are coming out, there are going to be people asking you all for money to help get the, your 82. Damn. All right. Well, you are what part of the last great generation. 
Oh, you were born in 1982. <laughs> All right. I guarantee you these dudes are going to be talking about, I want to get this monitor. It may be some women too. There's just going to be people asking you all for money. So that's all I can say. There's going to be people asking you all for money. You, you all better get it ready. Okay. <laughs> now I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen to you guys. Okay. I'm just letting you know now. They're going to be like, yeah, you know what, man? They'll say some shit like, you know what, man? I need to upgrade. And, um, you know, you know, these monitors, like, you don't know how much these 8K monitors cost. God bless America. I'm talking about, uh, you better, you better bend over and it's going to be roto rooter. They are not going to stop till they get to the back of your mouth. So from the up, from, from going from the back door up to your mouth, you know, the opposite. <laughs> See, we can find an 8K monitor here. 8K. Let's see your monitor. So you all better get it ready. Oh, no, that's wrong. Where are the 8K monitors? Uh, this 8K? That's a, a 4K monitor, Odyssey Neo, is $2,000. I don't even know if they have them. Let me see if I can go on. And leave here. Let me go over here. 8K. Monitor for gaming. Let's just, give, let's just do 144 hertz. Woo! <laughs> Two grand. $2,000. So, I mean, again, if you want to play an 8K, you got to pay the cost of me the balls. Uh, it is what it is, people. You better get it ready. Oh my God. Let's put this up on the screen. <laughs> oh, they're going to be asking you all for money. Oh my God. Let me put this up on the screen. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. There you go. That's an 8K Ultra Shop. That's a, that's a computer monitor. $4,000. <laughs> Oh my goodness, our $160 for four years. That is a car payment. Like back in my day, that was a car payment. There's your display resolution, 7680 by 4320. That is 8K. That is 8K. But look, the refresh rate is only 60 hertz. And you're paying eight, you're, you're paying four thousand dollars for 8K. There you go. So you all better get it ready. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a 1440p 165 hertz uh, monitor from Dell. Now I don't have HDR, but I don't need it because I've got I've got a I've got the fake HDR SDR. That's what you're looking at right now. That's Mass Effect with SDR, and it doesn't look that no VR. I didn't see it, but it it, it may not have it. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Also, when I played Stellar Blade the other day online on YouTube, um, I turned off VRR. I turned it off, so I don't know what my frames were, but it felt real good. Again, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. You know, what I'll say about Stellar Blade and the controversy, the women who look like that model, they need representation as well. But feminists don't recognize that. Feminism is telling women, well, because we all don't look like her, she's, you know, that's not what you should want in a, as a man. I'm sorry, but my girlfriend is five. I'm not sorry. My girlfriend's five, two weighs 124 pounds. She's small. So, I mean, she should be at five, two. She should not be wearing no two fitted. You know, one of these big backs is what they call them. These women with these big backs. And again, feminists believe that, because they go out and get degrees and they go out and get jobs that that should change their sexual marketplace value. And it's not, it ain't going to happen, you know? <laughs> so it ain't happening. So you've been gaming since you were nine years old on your 2600, like the Atari 2600. Okay. That that's, that's really good news. Born in 1980. Wow. So you were born after the original Star Wars and Empire. No, you were born one year before Empire Strikes Back came out. Arguably the greatest sequel of all time. People will argue and say it's the Godfather Part 2. You can just have an argument with them. It's cool. So, 
Alfonso said you're gonna you're gonna oh you're gonna buy it you're going to price the Samsung 8k neo okay well there you go um I I mean 8k is not for me uh 8k Samsung TV uh let's see here let's if you just go 65 inches um this one's renewed but it's it's 1700 renewed that's 65 inches though if you want to go bigger than that 75 inch uh four thousand dollars that's for the neo qled 8k tv and understand there ain't nothing in 8k i think the olympics will be in 8k maybe the super bowl next year will be in 8k and i think the world series will be in 8k but that's it so they're starting with sports first to sell those tvs so <laughs> Me first, please. Yeah, no VR. I did not have VRR. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about, if you're talking about the monitor, the answer is no. I did not have, um, I, as far as the video game, Celebrate, I didn't have, I turned off VR. That monitor we saw, I didn't look. Because I, I mean, I, I'm not, I can't afford it. So why would I, I don't look at things I can't afford or are not in my wheelhouse, I like to say. Like there's a Q, not a Q, yeah, there's a QHD monitor. There's a W. QHD monitor. That is a that is a 1440p monitor that's 144 hertz that has the widescreen option. And then you know PlayStation and Microsoft are both supporting that format with their games. That widescreen one, right? So I'm really considering buying that. But 399 and it has HDR. Uh, 399 right now for me for that is a little steep. If it can, if it comes down to 349, bam, I'll go buy it. I'll go buy it. So <laughs> paying 8K to see some grown men, no thank you. Well, I mean, again, eventually, eventually we'll get to 8K, but I mean, that person is doesn't have to upgrade anything. You know, you go to 8K, you're not, you don't have to upgrade anything anymore. So, but uh, guys, that's pretty much all I had for you. Um, like I said, I do appreciate you all being here. I wasn't, uh, I think I was able to stay on longer than I thought. We're kind of, like I said, our, the weather looks gloomy, but it's not horrible looking out there. I should be able to get to my mailbox and pay some bills. But guys, I, I appreciate you all have a good one. Like I said, uh, I probably will not be on 60 frames, no lag because of the weather, because of the weather. So, but you all have a good evening. And again, play your games again. If you're playing Stella Blade demo, enjoy it. If you buy it, great. Um, is it Rise of Ronin? Enjoy it. I mean, I heard people. I mean, I heard people talk about the graphics of the game, but then I talk about the performance and how the game plays. So that's what cracks me up about some of these people. Uh, as far as Stella Blade is concerned, I don't care what one IGN opinion is. I I played the demo. I enjoyed it. That was enough for me. That was enough. That's just me. And uh, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not saying, well, you all should all play the demo and you all need to go support the game. If you play the demo and you like the game or you like those type of games, go support the game. But uh, it's not the, um, yeah, the Rise of Ronin is fun. That's why we're playing the game, right? To have fun. So, again, I haven't bought it yet because I bought the DCS module F15E. I may show that uh, tomorrow. I may show that tomorrow. So, and uh, if you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. See, if you're enjoying it, it's your money. You you enjoy it, as you should, okay? But I don't presume you speak for nobody but yourself. I only speak for myself when I sit here in this chair. I don't think everybody in the chat is going to agree with me. Matter of fact, I get comments all the time, people who disagree, which is fine. I welcome the, the discourse. I welcome the discourse. It's open here. I always say leave comments, and I do read the comments, unlike some of these other hobos that don't read their own comments. But I will comment on your comments, and I don't tear anybody down if they disagree. I'm just kind of like, well, that's a good point, or well, I disagree, and I'll say, here's why. You know, I always say, here's why. And I disagree, here's why. Now, it doesn't mean I'm, I mean, it just means I'm correct in my point of view. So, got Stella Blade on pre order. Yeah, I do too. I do too. In the same boat. And on the when does it come out again? Is it when does it come out? Is it the nineteenth? When does that game come out? <laughs> I 
I mean, does it, it come, does it come out either the 12th or the 19th? So I'm not sure what day it comes out on because I can't go buy it today. So as it gets closer and closer, it is what it is. But yeah, there is a lawsuit um, from this this group of <laughs> called Black Gamer Girls Inc. There's a lawsuit going on with that. Again, black women do not want to be criticized on nothing. Not because again, if they get criticized, you're basically telling them that they're wrong and they need to, they need to change course and they don't want to do that. They think it's a world, it's not even a world conspiracy. It's a universal conspiracy what's going on with the black woman. You know, the aliens and Zeta Reticula teamed up with the aliens in the Orion Bell and the poor black woman is being held down and all this kind of stuff. So just bullshit coming out of their mouths. So, but that's a different podcast, right? That's why I have a Rumble account. Make sure you go to my Rumble account. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in, um, in the comment section after this podcast shuts down. And I'll, I'll talk about that maybe on Thursday or Friday after this weather clears out. And not only that, we're, it's supposed to get like 40 degrees outside. So we're going to get the rain and a cold front. And it's just complete wacky weather in this state. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. You all have a good rest of the evening. And uh, make sure you watch and listen to 60 